Unfortunately, I wasn't at the Love & Hip Hop reunion because my family comes first. I heard that it was pretty good this year. I heard that it was really interesting and I spoke to a lot of the girls from the show and I wanted to be there. I wanted to show Rashida some support. I wanted to show um, Tommy support. So I wish I was there, I'm bad. I dislike that I let Jessica get me so damn mad this season. I hate that. I need to learn how to not let people's words trigger me. I'm still working on it. I just felt like, you know, she was like, you punk ass And I was just like, ooh, who are you calling a punk? Like, and it just, you know, like that got under my skin. And I don't want to be that person. I don't want I don't want nobody to get under my skin. I want to be like, girl, lie. I am surprised that I made up with Jessica. I really am. Um, Cause I didn't like Jessica, she was mean. <laughs> um, and we never really got along. We never had no real beef or problem, but it was just, it just didn't flow. Um, but I think this season with the Jamaica situation, um, I got to see a whole nother side of her. I think they got to do with Sean. Thank you, Sean, <laughs> her, her uh, fiance. But yeah, I, I am shocked. Do you think you'll be attending her wedding? I hope she sent me a damn invitation. <laughs> I ain't gotta be in it, but I hope I can get an invitation or something, Don. One of my favorite movie moments was um, Jamaica, definitely, because I think we all was vibing and we were just on the same accord. And, um, and I know it's wrong and it's bad, but, and I don't condone violence, but that wig snatch that Jessica gave, she, t I mean, she snatched. You ever heard somebody say, you, girl, you took my head? Like, she snatched her. And then you guys ain't see, because she was, like, trying to, like, adjust it the whole time. And it was just wrong timing. Like, sometimes, I mean, and I'm not going to sit here and say that, you know, I didn't, and I wasn't, like, good. I mean, because at the point, I am a married woman, and I have, you know, had my issues. And I know that men got to own their faults in it, but it doesn't make it easy for men when you have women just like, oh, I'm gonna just throw myself on you because that's your vows. No, sweetie, because one day you're gonna be married too. And you're gonna want somebody to respect your marriage. So I felt like, like Dom said, she's gonna be her ass because her mama shoulda. I don't understand Treasure's reasoning and I didn't get it at that time because what you guys didn't see was I stopped her twice when she brought it up and I was like, well, we're not gonna talk about that. And she's like, well, Kirk, I sat with her and I was like, we ain't gonna do that. And she just kept going and then that's when Rashida got up and then that's when the wig came off. But it's like, we kept giving you fair warning, you know? And then even off camera, I gave her a warning. I told her even before we started filming, I said, listen, I know you're new to this show and I know you're new to the, you know, the game and all of this. I said, um, if you're gonna say something, own it. Don't be that type of person that's like, oh, the producers told me to say it, or, oh, own what you say. And she said, oh, I own everything I say. And I said, okay, well, 